Peter Sagan is one of the highest paid riders in the pro peloton but can he still justify his six-figure salary? Peter Sagan has one of the most decorated palmares filled with 113 professional victories in both stage and one-day races for the last decade. Some of his most notable race wins include three world championship titles, 12 Tour de France stage wins, three times Gent Wevelgem, seven green jerseys at the Tour, and as many Tirreno Adriatico wins. His career has however been on a downward trajectory since 2016, where he ranked number one in the world, slipping to second in 2017 and 2018, to 10th in 2019, 17th in 2020, 35th in 2021 and currently sits in 93rd position in the pro cycling stats rankings. Sagan's win tally has dropped off significantly in the last two years as Mathieu van der Poel and Wout van Aert dominated the classics, and stage races are being won by his replacement at Bora, Sam Bennett who won the green jersey at the 2020 Tour de France. And had been on an upward trajectory until his injuries resulted in him being left out of team selection at Quickstep, in favour of Mark Cavendish, who won the green jersey at the Tour a year later in 2021. Sagan's only win this season has come in the National Championship Slovakia road race in June. Peter's age is certainly a factor too, he's no longer in his prime. At 32 years of age, he's older than many of his rivals, other than Cavendish. This is undoubtedly having an impact of his peak power output. We saw this on stage two of this year's Tour de France. As Jakobsen accelerates, Sagan basically stays put. He's clear of Steven, he's still in a draft, but he can't up the pace again to push up alongside Van Aert and Pedersen, and he can't hold on to Jakobsen as he rockets past. Do Total Energies actually need Peter Sagan to win races? Or is his popularity and exposure what they were after? Team Total Energies manager Jean René Bernardo said, this recruitment is above all a marker of sporting ambition. Peter is a huge competitor, everyone knows that, and above all he will bring us victories, we are counting on him for that. Total Energies has the goal as a result of signing Peter of achieving the coveted world tour status of three years which is up for grabs this year. The team currently sit in the relegation zone although in a good position for a Grand Tour wildcard entry in 2023. Points earned in pro cycling races have never been more important for the top teams. In past years, points by country were used to create the little considered UCI rankings and to determine team size for World Championships and Olympic Games. They became a lot more valuable after the World Tour reforms in 2018. As part of these reforms, the UCI has set a firm limit of 18 teams in for the next World Tour license session of 2023 to 2025. To establish this limit, along with financial and ethical rules, the UCI have instituted a system whereby teams can be promoted or relegated from the World Tour based on their sporting performance in the previous three seasons. With the current points haul this year it puts them in 21st overall. There are several teams in contention for the World Tour license, including Israel and Lotto Sudal who currently have over 3,000 points over total energies. Whilst Sagan has contributed to this haul of points somewhat, it's been marginal, having scored 333 points so far in 2022. There are opportunities for more points, however the majority of Peter's season has finished. Away from points in bike races, his signing appears to have an impact in other ways. He has a huge following and still remains one of the most popular riders in cycling. The impact of signing Sagan resulted in a huge increase in Total Energy searches online and likely resulted in increased demand for their services, although not the primary goal of signing Sagan his presence in the team will no doubt have an impact directly on increased custom. Total Energy's stock price has also returned back to pre-COVID levels and profits have seen a sharp increase, although it's difficult to attribute Sagan as the primary factor for this as the war on Ukraine has pushed up demand for oil significantly. With the average age of riders dropping year after year Total Energy's hiring of Peter is a very different strategy to that of the top world tour teams, opting to hire younger talent. For example the aforementioned Fabio Jakobsen to Quickstep. Would Total Energy's be better off spending money on a rider capable of winning consistently? Let me know down below. Subscribe for more cycling content.